Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am so glad you are here. I'm so close to the camera. Let me just back it up. <laughs> Alright guys, if you have come from my part one video, welcome and hello. Um, if you are just coming here for the first time, I'm Marta, so nice to meet you. Or if you can roll your R's, you can say Marta, but... Either way is fine. So in my last video, I talked about tips and tricks on how to grow an Instagram following and build relationships, get brand deals, all that kind of stuff. Um, and I just started doing this. Like I just started like l making an income off of Instagram and YouTube literally like four months ago. <laughs> so it's very fresh. I'm learning every day. So everything I learn, I'm going to share with you guys. And today I want to share with you um, my favorite apps for editing photos because um, I don't know, I get a lot of compliments on like different filters that I use and how I get things to look a certain way. Now listen, if you check out my Instagram right now, you're going to notice I don't have a theme. I don't have a um, like a Lightroom preset. I do have Lightroom presets, but I don't have something that I use for every single photo. Um, and I know that that looks beautiful and props to you if you already have that going on. Like every picture is different for me. So like if I put a, the same filter on everything, I'll be like, oh wait, it would look better like this. You know, like I do them all different. Don't judge me. <laughs> so let's jump into this. I'm going to do the whole like record my screen thing. So I've never done this before. So I'm, I'm excited. All right, so if we go to photos here, the first thing that I like to start with for any any photo, no matter how great it is, is Facetune. So I'm gonna go into Facetune. Um, the first photo I'm gonna show you guys how I edit is an up close, like selfie uh, photo. Uh, this one is taken with my camera, my Sony A5100. Um, so it is pretty high quality, but because it is high quality, you can see all my white undercast of my setting powder. You can see where my magnetic lashes end and my actual lashes begin. You can see the eyebrow hairs, my unibrow in between my hairs. I hate this. I hate zooming in on this, but I don't really care. Whatever, it's fine. And then I have like acne on my chest. Like, it's fine. Little things, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna do is use the patch tool. So this tool will allow you to select a pimple and like select the area around it and literally like remove it. So I will do that. You want to be careful and not grab like hair strands and like pull hair strands apart because then it looks hella fake. So that's what I'll do for that. And then here I have one up here. Okay. Then I'm just going to save that. So I just click the check mark. So now, in order for me to fill in this gap here that is between my magnetic lashes, you guys know I use the Ardell magnetic lashes, and they look great on camera, they look great like in person, but if you have a photo this high quality, you can see where it cuts off, so we're gonna fix that. So, um, I go ahead and zoom in, and I use tones, and I pick up the dark tone, like the black, go back to tones, and then I can fill in all this um, space here. Hold on. I'm gonna pick a darker color. Okay. So everywhere that's like white right now, I'm filling in. See? See, I filled it in. So it's like less like fake looking. So I just like fill that in. Also, I can bring it out here too because these are like bad too. But um, that's what I'll do for that. And then I can fill in the other eyelashes, whatever I don't think looks good. So you can see before, after, before, after. Okay, so that is fixed. And then um, I'm gonna quickly do the other side off camera. All right, so you guys can see this is before and this is after, all filled in, lovely. Now, the next thing that I'm gonna wanna do is get the smooth tool and go ahead and go over any like awkward fuzziness like I guess I have a beard so this is like really fuzzy but um, I make sure I choose the one drop for the smooth and not the double drop because that's like way too harsh so I use the one drop and just smooth over everything look at these nose hairs actually they're veins um, I don't know if you guys can see I have a severely deviated septum like this nose is like closed and this one's open so um it's it's a fun time. 
so I have to deal with that so um but I can't really fix that in a photo then I'm gonna go up here to my eyebrows and just fill it all in now here's my issue I love that shine on my forehead I really do so I'm not I'm gonna try not to touch it I might erase that a little bit there and just focus on now I'm gonna do smoother for the individual hairs that are causing me issue. Do do do. Okay. Great. <laughs> what a difference. Um, so you can also do this like above the brow. Ooh. Under here, you don't want to touch your eye makeup too much because, like, you want people to see that blend that you did. You don't want to mess it up. Um, but then I'm also going to take just the regular smooth and do it down the sides of my nose. Okay. Great. So you can see already. There we go. Okay. Um, now, you, I still leave it pretty fuzzy. Like, you can see, like, around the edges. It's still pretty fuzzy because I want people to know that I... The, the goal here is so people don't know that you edited your photo, right? So that's what I do. And I'm completely being exposed right now. If you are my friend and you saw this photo and thought that my, you know, face was perfect, I tricked you. <laughs> now we need to move on to handling that white cast that I have under my eye. So we need to take the tones... And I'm going to really zoom in here, okay? And I'm going to pick this skin color, okay? And then I'm going to go back to tones, and I'm going to plop that skin color. Ah! Oh, I'm like choking. I'm going to plop that skin color underneath my eye. And kind of get rid of that white. I might pick a darker color. Yeah, there you go. And so I'm just putting that on the white parts. Alright guys, so I just took the white out from underneath both my eyes. So you can see that's before, after, before, after, before, after. So you might think we're done, but oh no. Oh no we aren't. Then, now, you can pick tones and I kind of want to make my nose look a little tiny thinner. Just a little teeny thinner. So I just pick picker, pick this dark shaded part of my nose, go back to tones, and I can pull in my nose. See that? But then we're going to make sure that the center of the nose is highlighted, so I'm going to pick up picker, pick it up, tones. There we go. Now that nose is highlighted. All right, so now I'm going to smooth out my chest a little bit just because it looks a little bumply. I don't know. I like the highlight, but like, I don't know. It looks a little weird. All right. Uh, now I use my favorite tool. It is the details tool, and I will just go over anything that is highlighted, make it nice and highlighted, any details like eye makeup, that I want to show off, like my hair. Um, also, if I wanted to, I could fix these brows and make them more, like, filled in. Like, look, tones, I can pick this dark color, and I can go like that. Because I need a new brow pencil. <laughs> My brows are so dark. So, like, I'm going to do that. Just a smidge in there, just to fix it up. All right, guys, and this photo is done. So, you guys can see the... This is the before, and this is the after. Before, after. Before, after. Before, after. So, nose is tinier. Eye makeup looks way better. So the second photo that I'm going to show you, I look like a little elf. <laughs> I went to the Renaissance Festival the other day. It was so amazing. If you haven't been to a Renaissance Festival, go to one. It's so freaking cool. I'm going to 
edit this photo. This is a great photo that I took at the beach. Like if you like really zoom in, you can see um, what it looks like, but my highlight is on fleek. So what I'm gonna do is just cause it's really far away, I'm gonna do the details. I'm gonna make my little side boob action there a little more detailed. Highlight, wait, no, the highlight's too much if I do that. <laughs> but I'm gonna highlight the nose, the earrings, um, just kind of everything, not highlights. What am I doing? Detailed. And then I have a little anklet on. Oh, that's a chunky looking ankle. Okay, because I just, I want to be like the focus of the photo. So you can see, um, there you go. Okay. Next, I'm going to go to whiten and I'm going to whiten the white parts of this thing. Actually, it's looking more... You know what, I'm not gonna whiten it because it was looking more yellow than white. I could whiten the sand. I do this sometimes. I can whiten the sand up. But you know this photo? Ooh, ooh, I like it whitened. You can do this for anything don't want to get my leg whitened or my arm whitened. Make sure you don't get your actual body. So just the sand is whitened. I'm going to save that. So now we're going to go into two other apps. So I have a bunch of cool apps here. So I go into Lightroom. It's my last photo that I edited. And now on Lightroom, I do have a few presets. So I have this preset called Summery Sun, and it is a very purple, very purple um, preset. Let me see. Me with a white background, the gowns, that's pretty. But I like to look tan. So I'm going to basically show you what I did for Summery Sun. So Summery Sun, <laughs> I made the highlights like all the way. Like I wanted to make it really bright. I made the contrast pretty intense. I'm going to lower it a little bit and shadows down so like oh i don't know do i like to look darker do i like to look i don't know i think i'm gonna put it in the middle we're gonna put it in the middle to be safe and then of course it was made more on the purple side but you guys can go wherever you want to go um i kind of like it on the purple side but i want it a little brighter this just seems dark Ooh, vibrance Ooh, you guys are watching the process happen. This is literally what I do. I just play with everything. Um, in effects, you can give it a grain. So I like to make it kind of in the middle. So if you zoom in, you can see I kind of have a grain, like a fuzzy, like photo kind of look to it. So I like that. Oh, this is so cute. Um, but then, so then I'll just save that. Saved a camera roll. Then you guys, I have like the coolest app ever. It's called Pixeloop. Wait until you see it. Okay, I already edited this photo with the filter, so I'm just gonna show you it because I already played with this. And it is the coolest thing ever. I don't know why I'm turning my volume up. I don't need my volume. All right, you guys ready? Are you watching the water? Just watch the water, ready? It's moving. Oh my god. All right, I'm going to do it with our new one and show you guys how I did it. So, you go to animate path and then you pick the direction you want, like how much you want things to be moving. I'm going to go all the way down. All the way down the water. I'm making a bunch of them. And then if you just press play, like everything would be moving, so it's a mess. So, actually, I want these to be longer. There we go. There we go. Um, so, now you go to freeze, and you want to select everything that you don't want to move. So that is all the sand, me of course. 
doing the sand right now. <laughs> this is a process. All right, I did that very quickly, so this isn't, oh, I forgot about the other half of this guy. Okay, I did this very quickly, so it's not gonna be perfect. Oh my God. So then when you just go back to path, you can see the water just moves. And you can pick the speed. Whoa, it's really fast. But I like just a little bit. Oh, I need to freeze. I need to freeze up here. I kind of just want to freeze. I just kind of want the bottom to move. So you see that? You can pick how big or how little you want it to be, but I think that app is the coolest thing. That's Pixaloo. Okay. Um, there's also Lomagraph. This is the last thing that I want to show you guys. Um, this app has for free, it has all of these Instagram, goodness gracious, photos. Um, so I like, if I go to favorites, look at all these photos that have never been posted. And I pick this one. Stupid ads. So many ads on this thing. Fair warning, lots of ads. So I actually posted this photo the other day, but I did not post it looking like this. I posted it looking like, I believe it was this filter. Yeah. Now, whoa. When you tap on it, it changes where the light is. Like when you tap the picture. Um, so you can play around with this. This is the one I used. K-E-D-R. That's the one that I used. And then I just kept tapping it until I, ooh, I liked it with the light, but also with the speckles. I think I posted it with the speckles. I think I posted it like this. And so I saved it, best quality, and then I went to Instagram, and you guys know how to use Instagram by now. So then I just pulled that photo. I love how it has the date at the bottom. And I played with the filters on here. I believe I liked one of these. But at this point, I also edited it on other apps too. So... Yeah, so I play with that around. But anyway, those are my favorite apps for editing photos, and that is the procedure that I go through. <laughs> so I like to use Facetune, Lightroom, Lomagraph, Pixaloop, and then for Insta Stories, I'm just gonna throw it out there. If you guys do want to become influencers and be super artsy, uh, you should take the time to like edit your stories and not just like take one video. I mean, you can, I do too. But if you wanna be a little extra, give it a little extra effort, Unfold is great and Featured is great and Typorama is great. So Unfold, I use this for any like business related things like this is Vegas, okay? So I'm able to pick a picture and throw it in there. So my company, the influencers that work for my company, we get paid vacations, you know. I know it's crazy because like we just started but we actually get paid vacations. So the next one coming up is Vegas if you guys want to get on that. I mean, there's only one week left. So if you saw this video in September, message me and you can get to go to Vegas, but probably you're gonna see this video later. But anyway, so I can like pick the photo, pick how to move it around, how I want it to look. I can write up top, I can write below. I can add another uh, page. I can you know, tell a story. I can do this and I can add text. I can add um, like what color I want the thing to be. So that is really cool. Featured, you can just, it's a blank page and you just add photos to it and add words to it. Um, so that one's a good one. And then um, Typorama has all those cool writings. And you can pick, is this an Instagram post? Is this an Instagram story? Is this a Facebook post? If I pick Instagram story, and then I have all these options for like words that I wanna type, like if I, message me for the discount code, or just example. I can pick what writing I want it to be in, and then of course we pick the photo, and you can choose from their stock images, they have a bunch of photos there, or you can choose your own photos. Um, but it's really cool, so you can do this when you make announcements on your stories, so 
Anyway, that's everything that I wanted to share with you guys. I hope you give them a try. I hope you guys like this video. Um, if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and subscribe. I'd love to have you part of the family. And I will see you guys in my next video. Get ready for Halloween videos. <laughs> so excited. All right, I love you guys. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.